Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into something that's been making a lot of noise lately, and that's AI and coaching. It's definitely a lot topic. Yeah. And to really get into it, we've got this fascinating audio clip that just lays out all the angles. So we're going to take a deep dive into that today. It sounds good. Basically, we want to figure out, you know, can AI actually help us become better coaches? Right. Are there any risks, any downsides we need to watch out for? Sure, sure. And how can we use AI responsibly without losing that human touch that's like at the heart of coaching? Absolutely. There's a balance to be struck. Exactly. That's what we're here to unpack. So just thinking about this audio clip, one of the things that jumped out at me is, you know, how AI can personalize coaching in ways that we just couldn't even imagine before. Yeah. And that's something this clip really highlights, right? Like imagine having AI analyze tons of data about your client, right? their communication style, emotional cues, how they learn best, all of that. And then it can help you tailor your coaching program to their specific needs. That's incredible. It's like, Instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, you're getting this really personalized roadmap for each client. Exactly. And it can free up so much time for the coach. You know, all those repetitive tasks like scheduling or basic assessment. Yep, all yeah, that admin stuff. AI can take care of that so the coach can focus on the really important stuff. You know, like the deeper human connection, the strategic guidance, the things AI can't do. So it's like you have this super-powered research assistant working for you. But it's still you, the coach, who's steering the ship. Precisely. It's about leveraging the best of both worlds, the human and the artificial. Okay, so that all sounds amazing, right? But the clip also talks about some potential risks, and this is where things get a little tricky. Yeah, and this is something we really need to be careful about. You know, AI is only as good as the data it's trained on. Okay. And if that data is biased, well, the AI's output is going to be biased too. Oh, I see. So, like, let's say the AI has been trained mostly on data from... I don't know, successful CEOs, yeah. white males, that sort of thing. Yeah. And then you try to use it to coach someone with a completely different background, maybe a young female entrepreneur or something. Exactly. The AI might not give accurate or relevant advice because it doesn't understand the unique challenges that person faces. That's a really good point. It's like we can't just blindly trust the AI's recommendations. Mm -hmm. We need to critically evaluate them based on our own knowledge and experience. Absolutely. And that's something this audio clip emphasizes. The importance of critical thinking, you know. Right. The human element in interpreting AI-generated data. It's not about replacing human coaches. It's about empowering them. Right, right. So it sounds like the key here is finding the right balance. Using AI as a tool to enhance our coaching, but not letting it dictate everything. Yeah, it's like think about the relationship between humans and pets. You know, it's a symbiotic relationship. We benefit from each other, but we also need to be careful. Right. We need to train our pets, set boundaries, make sure they don't, you know, bite the mailman or something. Yeah. You don't want your AI running wild. Yeah. Exactly. And it's the same with AI in coaching. We need to be mindful of the potential pitfalls, constantly learn and adapt, and always prioritize ethical considerations. So it's kind of like we're taming this powerful new tool. Precisely. And using it for good. So I think the big question here is, where do we go from here? As AI gets more sophisticated, how do we ensure that it's used ethically and effectively in the coaching world? It's a great question. I think one thing we need to do is educate ourselves about AI, understand how it works, what its limitations are. Mm -hmm. We also need to have open and honest conversations about the ethical implications of using AI in coaching. Yeah, absolutely. This is something we all need to be thinking about. So for those of you listening, we'd love to hear your thoughts. How do you see AI impacting the coaching world? What are your hopes and concerns? Let us know because this is a conversation that's just getting started. For sure. And remember, the future of coaching is in our hands. Let's use AI wisely to create a better future for ourselves and our clients. Beautifully put. And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive for today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Until next time.